YouTube. What's going on? It's your boy Tech King Mike back again with another video. And you guys know what day it is. It's November 13th. So guess what that means? It's iPhone day, fam. That's right. We got ourselves the iPhone 12 Pro Max in the building, baby. This is the 512 gigabyte Pacific Blue. Now, if y'all can't tell by the theme behind me, I'm, I'm a blue person. You know, I'm, I'm a blue person. I enjoy the color blue. So I had to go ahead. It was only right that I got the 12 Pro Max in the blue. So let's unbox this bad boy real quick. Gonna be a real quick video because your boy is not playing no games. I'm gonna put the screen protector in the case on this as soon as I'm done recording this video. So let's go ahead and get into the unboxing so you can see what you're getting in the box this year or lack thereof this year, as we all know, blah, 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 whoop de whoop you're not getting this, you're not getting that. But either way, let's go on and get into the video. iPhone 12 Pro Max unboxing. Let's make it happen. Well, iPhone 12 Pro unboxing, baby. So as you guys see, the box is a lot thinner this year than it has been in the past. And that is because Apple has removed the charging brick and the headphones in the box. Now, I'm gonna tell you why this doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me because for one, I've got plenty of chargers around the house from old iPhones and accessories that, as you can see, haven't even been used yet. So I'm not really too concerned about that. I've even got Apple headphones from old devices that haven't been used yet. So I'm not really tripping too hard on the fact that Apple did not include a charging brick and headphones in the box. Does not make or break the purchase for me, but that is just my opinion. Now let's go on ahead and get into the actual unboxing. So like I said, as you guys can see, I went with the Pacific Blue 512 gigabyte model. Sorry for that there. So let's go ahead and open this up. Of course, you gotta get your nice ASMR. Whatever that, whatever that does for people. So obviously super thin, I'm excited about this. I've been waiting on this since they announced the pre-order and look at that. That is the 12 Pro Max and Pacific Blue. That is a beautiful, device. Now Apple forewent the plastic on the front screen this year for paper. So I'm going to actually take this phone. Let's take a look around the phone real quick. So as you can see, they got that camera bump back there, the nice subtle matte finish. You got the stainless steel sides and the overall footprint of the device is not that bad. I feel like compared to say a Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, the footprint is not that bad. Now, mind you, the Note 20 Ultra is in the case, but still, it's not that bad of a footprint compared to what I was expecting to get my hands on. So we'll put that off to the side for a minute and let's just take a look at what else you get in the box. So you do get your USB-C to lightning cable. So I'm gonna put that back in the box because I usually don't use those. I have an anchor cable that I use and you get your small Apple branding and instructions this year with your SIM ejection tool, your quick start guide, as well as your Apple sticker. You only get one this year, sad face, but at least you're getting something still, right? Let's not complain too much about what we're not getting in the box and be thankful we're still getting something. So let's go on ahead and take a look back at the phone again. And like I said, as you can see, nice. I like the squared off edges. It's really nice, feels really good in the hand. And it just, it's a nice solid feel. I know some people said that they don't like the squared off edges because they feel like it's harder to hold. I actually like them. I think it feels really nice. Let's go ahead and peel this off. And let's take a look at powering the screen on. You still, we still got that notch up there. Notch ain't going nowhere. Not really too mad about that though because face ID is the truth. And you know, you just use a pin number. Unfortunately, the mask situation, I do hope next year that we get a chance to get uh, touch ID inside of the uh, side of the button here. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So there's your phone and there's the screen and that's pretty much it, you guys. So iPhone 12 Pro Max, first impressions and unboxing. Gonna have more coming on this device. I'm gonna go ahead and throw my cases on it real quick and I'll show you guys the cases in another video. But like I said, I'm not taking no chances gonna put the screen protector in the case on this bad boy ASAP iPhone 12 Pro Max make sure you stay tuned to the channel for more videos if you are not subscribed make sure you hit the bell button make sure you subscribe hit the like button as well drop a comment down below did you pick up an iPhone on iPhone 12 Pro Max and 12 mini release day I'll catch you guys in the next video peace